Hey there everyone, Tash here, back again with another video, and yes, I have been a little bit busy, and those things are almost done, it's it's almost done, and very soon I'll be releasing a video about in which, in what thing actually I was busy, but now that I have got free time, I can interact more with you, and why not to make a video? And in this video, we're gonna learn some awesome things about the CSS, and this is gonna be like product-based, I'll give you some of the tips that is gonna help you as a freelancer or whenever you're designing any project for yourself or somebody else, these are gonna be helpful. Now again, I would like to start my video saying that I'm not a guru in anything at all, so please, if you don't like that, just keep it with that. Okay, so uh, let's just say, uh, for some reason, I was visiting MKBHD's website. It looks pretty good, in case you don't know, I actually, why are you on YouTube if you don't know M MKBHD? He's like a pretty dope guy. So this is his website. Uh, pretty, That's it. That's pretty simple. And to be honest, it's really amazing. It's awesome. It serves the purpose. But what we can do is we can add some of our own touch as a programmer. If I had to design an MKBHD website, uh, first and foremost, this logo placement is amazing. It, it can't be touched. So... I would like to do something on the right hand side. If I would have designed it, and probably this is the thought process what we have done with the MKBSD, let's just assume this is a fictitious project. So what I would have done is logo should be as it is. And on the MKBSD, there should be a logo. So I would have designed some kind of customized image and should be rotating on that. So kind of a square rotating on this MKBSD, uh, just like it rotates on the logo. The very important process whenever you're designing any web page or web project is the color scheme. So if you don't know, or if you don't focus much on the color scheme, uh, your project is gonna look really, really bad. Now, these are the things which nobody talks in their tutorials. And of course, uh, there's no point in talking because they are right now talking about technology. And these are the different aspects that you learn over the time or in the companies and all these stuff. So pay a close attention with what kind of color scheme. So I know that MKBHD or Marcus is pretty, uh, pretty uh, concerned about his color scheme, especially it should be grayed out. Uh, it should be like matte color. It should be black, red, and white. So he likes a saturation with the flattish color. So that's what I have uh, gained from his watching a lot of videos. So that's what I would like to do. And apart from that top thing that I would like to redesign in this video, apart from this, I won't be touching anything at all. So we would be designing a fresh new page of that. And of course, this is actually an image. And I would like to write that in a text. Uh, that's what I would like to do. So anyways, uh, what we'll be using, I have actually already prepared a little bit of stuff for it and I'll be redesigning it right now. Uh, what we will be doing, uh, in case you want to read some of the documentation, this is the one thing that we will be using. Again, MDN doc for CSS content. This is a really good thing. We will be somehow customizing it, kind of a little bit hack. And uh, notice this before and after. We will be using that alongside with the content and that's it, that's pretty much it. And in case you want to pick up exact color scheme, uh, just use any Chrome add-on or something like that. I'm using eyedropper, I like that. You can just pick a color and just click anywhere and just picks it up. Now, it gives me all the colors right here. I can click and copy that on my clipboard. Some plugin can allow you to directly copy that, but I like to give get more details in here. That's why I use that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, first and foremost, fire up your editor. Uh, I'm using VS Code. It happened that I somehow like the VS Code quite a lot. So I'm gonna drag and drop a folder here, which is YouTube, it's totally empty folder. And I would like to keep it just like that here. Uh, I think this is it, I would like to keep it here. And let's just create a new file and I'm gonna save it. And it's gonna be called as index.html. I would like to have one more file and I would like to save that as style style.css there we go and with the help of emmet by the way if you haven't watched my emmet code go to learn code online yes it's written at the bottom of the video go ahead and enjoy my free emmet course it's pretty awesome it can do these things so let's just say mk uh, oops not here command z in place of document i'm going to say mkbhd that's going to be title and in the body we can do and discuss these things later on right now i would like to just have an anchor tag and just write mkbhd here so i'm going to go for anchor tag this is going to go at https or http uh, it's just on http i guess no problem http colon slash slash mkbhd.com and mkbhd so this is all of our amazing web page looks like and trust me, MKBHD is not gonna be proud on this page at least. So there we go, it looks like this. Pretty, not so good. But we're gonna convert that into pretty good stuff. So let's just go ahead and do some of the styling. First of all, we have to link this styling. You know that already, it's not a big deal. So we're gonna say link, colon, CSS, and we are gonna, all good and ready. 
to check these things you know me if you have taken any of my course i always like to do body and bgc is gonna be red and there we go nasty red so we're gonna just remove that uh, because in the body color what I would like to do I have picked a specific color for this sure if you would like to go ahead and choose exact same color as MKBSD website that's also awesome but I have actually picked up something different it's gonna be hash uh, 2e 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 so that's gonna be save it's a little bit grayish a uh, matte blackish because I think he would love that I'm not sure I'm not sure and I would also like to use a font family here and I'm gonna go for Helvetica, come on, there we go. And as a backup, I would like to keep uh, sans serif, come on, there we go, sans serif. Uh, probably that's it. We can make it much more awesome when we can use some of the Google fonts, but I think that's that's all okay for right now. Now that our body is set, let's give it uh, some of the styling to the anchor tag. Uh, first thing foremost, it's not looking good in this color, obviously, so we're gonna change the color. Come on, color, and the color is gonna be, uh, notice when I say FFF six times, uh, it looks a pretty bit uh, whitish if I just zoom it a little bit for now. I will increase the font later on. So notice it's like a little bit too much of the bright white. Uh, let's add a little bit subtlety. So I'm gonna use uh, something uh, which is gonna be BF1. Uh, there we go. So it's like almost whitish, but a little bit tinge of the cream there, okay. And yes, I already did a little bit of research in finding that out. And we can now zoom back to 100% so that we can design this how we actually like it. So there we go. Nice and small and teeny tiny MKBHD. I can actually reduce this so that I can see everything. Okay, there we go. Now color is all good. And the next thing that we are going to use is the font size. Font dash size. And we are going to go for, let's just go for 80 pixels. We are not designing perfectly for it. But this is all good 80 pixel and we are also going to use text decoration text dash decoration to be none so that at least uh there we go now we are looking we are talking good here and the letter spacing also i would like to get a little bit closeiness here so i'm going to go for like uh probably minus four pixel so that they just get close a little bit and there we go yeah i kind of like it but you know uh, it's it's getting too much i'm going to go for two yeah those subtleties I like them. So there we go, letter spacing is all good. And uh, let's position it a little bit. The reason why I'm positioning this text, uh, I surely can do that using uh, other techniques as well. Maybe Flexbox, I'll leave that as a simple exercise for you. I'm gonna be using uh, a kind of absolute position here. So position is gonna be uh, absolute. And then I'm gonna give it a top, uh, should be like 40% maybe, 40% save that and from left i'm gonna go for 40 percent again and this should look decent there we go exactly where i wanted it to be okay and now i would like to add a little bit of the text shadow as well so i'm gonna go for text uh dash shadow and in the text shadow we are gonna go for from uh top and bottom and then different one on left and right so we're gonna go for uh, probably I'm gonna go for 0, 20 pixel, come on, 0, 20 pixel, 25 pixel, and uh, what kind of color we're gonna go for. So, uh, we are gonna go for 2E, 2E, and 2E. And there we go, it's a little bit mashy, and it's not really visible right now, so probably we can take down the shadow part later on. I just wanted a subtle shadow there. So I think that's it, and that's all we needed for here. Okay, and now comes the tricky part, what exactly I wanted to do with this MKBHD. So notice, uh, when I use something like uh, A colon before, and comma, and I'm gonna use A colon after here, and this is exactly what I want. Notice here in the content section that it's a content property of the CSS. Let me actually show you what it does because it's a little bit hard to explain in words. So what it does when you use a content and uh, I write a content A, notice I say it before and after when I save this, notice it just wraps it up uh, before and after of MKBHD. So this is exactly I want, not with the A, I don't want it to be here. I just want this content so that I can make a border around it. Okay, so for that, I have to first use a padding so that it spaces out a little bit and I'm gonna go for uh, top and bottom and left and right different one. So 0 
8 EM at the top and bottom. And for left and right, I'm going to go for 0 0.4. These are the exact which I came up which I when I was first time designing it. So uh, save that. Notice it gives a little bit spacing. And if I use a little bit more A's, uh, precisely 4, you can see that uh, this is giving different spaces and width from top and bottom and all of that. Uh, don't worry, we will not be using any kind of uh, A's here. We will be noticing it. Before even I go that, I would like to get a border here so that you can see what exactly we are looking for. So border is gonna be 15 pixel solid. And we will be picking up a color for that. Now I already picked up a color for it and I have actually written it in my notes, C0392B, uh, 392B. And that's kind of a maroonish red. And notice it's, it's all looking wanky here, but notice the magic when I just remove this all A or just one A. Uh, notice it's getting good and now if I just remove all the content here uh, notice it's going somewhat like this because it's going something like this. So what we can do is we can have an absolute position over this content so that it doesn't do all these crazy stuff. Uh, it's looking good. Okay so let's just give it a position here. So we're gonna go for notice we are we are focusing on two boxes here uh, before and after so that we can shade them differently. So we're gonna say position is gonna be uh, absolute and once the position is absolute, I'm going to give a top of 50%, uh, 50%. And then I'm going to give it a display of block. Save that. Now it's looking all good. Uh, but obviously it's not exact at the exact position where I want it to be. So we need to transform it. So for the transformation, we will be using some of the X and Y angles. So it's not here. So it's going to be translate X to minus 50%. Uh, Save that. And we are also going to use translate Y to minus 50%. And we are going to use, uh, save that. Yeah, it's, it's actually coming up to better place what I want it to be. And let's just see how we can fix that up a little bit. Okay, so content is good, padding, border, and let's use a little bit property here, width, so that we can expand that a little bit. So we are going to use width here, and width is going to be 100%, obviously. I want it to be covered totally. Okay, so I think I missed a column there, 100%. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a somewhere where we want it to be. Uh, top is going to be 50%. Looks, let's use a little bit left as well so that it comes to exact position. Left is gonna be 50%. And notice when you use a left and right 50%, you have to actually translate. This is a trick which I picked up because if you don't, uh, it's it's gonna be shifted a little bit. This is how you center. You used to center when there was no uh, these great things like Flexbox and all these things. This is how in the previous time. Now the reason why I'm using two boxes here before and after is because you can provide different shadows and kind of an integrating look into these things, okay? So these are good, but I would like to add a little bit animation because MKBHD actually starts this video with the animation of these text box. And his box is actually not square. So I would like to do these animation with kind of a custom design thing so that it can be parallelly twisted a little bit, okay? So uh, also, uh, let's use a Z index because I want these transformation on to be a separate index as written on the MKBHD. So Z index is gonna be minus one. Uh, you can give any negative number, it, it's, it's gonna work. And let's use animation. And uh, there are a lot of properties in the animation that you can surely look around. We are gonna be using a couple of them, like uh, it should be 10 second, it's gonna be infinite, and it's gonna be alternate infinite, it's gonna be alternate, and it's gonna be ease in, ease out, and the name of our kind of a custom keyframe that we are gonna design. So I'm gonna call this as move this. You can, you can call this anything, whatever you like. Okay. So now this is not affecting anything because we haven't designed our uh, keyframe function, whatever you call that. I usually like to define them at the top. So it's actually really simple. All you have to do is add the rate keyframe and then name that. This is kind of a defining a function. Uh, I'm totally wrong here on saying it function, but I liked it because it's easier to understand as a programmer. So there are two points onto it. First is oh, what will happen when it is gonna be at zero and what is going to happen when the animation in is 100% done. Uh, you can inter like uh, put more things at 50% and all these things as well. Of course, you have to mention the percent with the 100. 
so this is what we have to do. Surely you can add like something on 50% and all these things. We just want to use the transform. We are gonna just copy and paste. So we're gonna say translate, translate, come on. Translate, come on, give me suggestion, translate. No, it's not gonna give me. So I'm gonna say translate X and minus 50%. I'm gonna copy that because I'm exactly gonna do a couple of times and I'm gonna say translate Y and then the rotate degree. Rotate, come on, rotate. And that's gonna be like a zero degree at the first animation. And let's save that. And now we are gonna just copy and paste that because this is what exactly we want. But only thing that is gonna change here is gonna be 45 degree. I, yes, I checked it out. Uh, MemKBSD uses a 45 degree kind of a rotation there. Uh, I think it's it's a little bit slower, so we can move that. So 10 second is like uh, very, very much slower. I'm gonna go for five. Yeah, that's that's actually better. So this is kind of animation I would love to do. And obviously I can shift these things and can make them, like I can do these kinds of things with the animation a little bit. And uh, it could have looked a little bit better if I could have used any and two blocks rotating at opposite side. But yeah, surely can be done. It's gonna take time, but uh, probably as a side project, I'm gonna do that because it's so much fun. And of course this Zend index is giving a little bit feeling that uh, our this content is actually behind the mkbhd so if i had to design i would surely implement uh, this on the mkbhd website probably a little bit shorter uh exactly at this position just a small mkbhd tilting around and all of that rest exactly same and if he wish i can actually change the color scheme to this but i think he would love this one better because this is matte blackish i like that okay so surely it's not uh, perfect if this would have been a project of mkbhd a lot more thought process would have been given to it but i think that's cool and probably in the future i'll pick up more of these youtubers so that i can design kind of their logo and their uh web pages at least some part of it uh probably casey and all these things let me know in the comment section uh which are the other youtubers I should design their logo or their name with these CSS concepts so that you can learn the CSS concepts, some of the client tackling details, uh, as well as some of the fun stuff. So that's it for this video. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. I post a lot of content. It's not yet categorized like what I do post, but I do post a lot of programming things along with my travel, some of these crazy stuff like this. And yeah, surely we'll have a lot of fun here. So do hit that subscribe button and let's catch up in the next one.